Inside this box right here is 100 fish. Munchkin. Oh my lord have mercy. We've got 100 fish right here. Oh my god. That's one scoop. Look at all those fish. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another awesome video. Right behind me is our big beautiful 4,000 gallon freshwater pond and today we're going to be unboxing 100 fish. I've got two boxes here. One with live fish, one with some food for our beautiful koi fish and inside this box right here is 100 fish. Now yes that is a lot of fish but we do have a lot of big fish inside of this beautiful 4,000 gallon. Recently the amount of rain we have been getting here in South Florida has been ridiculous. Hence why you guys can see how filled the pond is right now. I mean it's almost at the point of overflowing. So later today, I'm gonna come right here to our filtration, put this puppy on the backwash and all the water. We'll shoot right out here into our bushes. So that definitely needs to be done. I mean, just look at how close it is to overflowing. It is like at the edge, baby. Now the best part about all this rain is that the water, for some reason, every time it rains, gets so much clearer. So as soon as I saw how clear the water was and I saw the prediction of rain throughout the whole entire week, I was like, okay, I need to order a crap ton of fish for a sick feeding. And here we are, the fish have arrived and our water is beautiful. We got our necessities we're gonna need for the day. We got a scissor right here that we're gonna use to cut open both of these boxes here and we got a net to use to scoop a lot of these fish out and throw them inside of here for an awesome feeding. And also you can't forget the awesome GoPro that I had under the water about 10 minutes ago. And let me tell you what, the bass and the tarpon are two very curious fish. And I'll tell you guys what, they do not like the GoPro anywhere up in their face. They, uh, they, they just don't like it. I'm pretty sure the bass bit it. Now here we have it from an up top view. Look at this beautiful thing right here. This pond was actually built in 2019. So four years ago, actually maybe it was 2020. I'm not too sure, but we've had it for years and it is just beautiful. Now usually we have a shade that hangs from each of these poles. We got four of them, one, two, three, and four. And uh, 93 degree weather for the past five days. I think it's time to put the new shade on. So that is definitely on the agenda for this week. I simply just feel like I haven't shown you guys this pond. I mean, just the minor details, this beautiful flower, all of these bricks that we laid across the whole entire pond. I mean, look at this. We have it, a perimeter around the pond with all of these bricks all the way around. Look at that. You guys can see we went with the theme, brown and beige, brown and beige. All this pea rock inside here. This super awesome fence to keep everything hidden inside so we don't see the filtration at all. And then of course, the star of the show, the beautiful pond. Whew, that's just a super quick little tour of this pond. I feel like I haven't gone into it because usually I'm just showing you guys the fish, but the pond itself is absolutely stunning. We're gonna break into this right now, ladies and gents. This is the first box we're gonna unbox. And inside here, we just have some koi food. We ran out two days ago, so. Luckily, we got some koi here, some koi here. We got some food here pretty dang quickly, so let's open this up. Oh, nothing like some fresh, fresh koi food. There we go, all right. All right, kois, and the tarpon loves these pellets. Let's see, let's get this going. Let's see these koi come right up. Oh my God, so much food, look at all that. Wow, all right, let's take a handful, toss it inside here and just get ready because that tarpon's gonna blow it up or these koi are gonna start munching. Oh my lord have mercy. Do you think they missed the koi pellets? I'd say so. All right, let's watch these guys go to work on all these pellets and then we're getting into the big box with all the fish. Get this box out of here. It's time to get into the good stuff right now. Man, they soaked this box, but let's cut this thing open. We got fish inside here. They did a nice tape job on this thing. Look at that. One last side, just like that, y'all. All right, let's open this puppy up. Let's take a peek. Oh, 
baby, yeah! Look at all those fish inside there. Can you guys even see it? I don't even know, hang on. All right, here it is, baby. Oh my God, there's so much freaking water inside of this bag. We've got 100 fish right here inside of this bag. Let me put it down, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna get to an awesome feeding. All right, Ugh, there we go. All righty, let's open it up. This is a really big bag. I think they can ship up to like 500 at a time. So I went ahead and got 100. So let me take a quick scoop here. Oh my God, that's one scoop. Look at all those fish. Holy crap, this is, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be full blown insanity. Let me kick this off super quick right here. Watch this. This is what you guys got to look forward to. Boom, let's get another one. Come here. <sighs> little, this is a little guy. All right, there you go. Oh my God, the bass is just, he's wicked. The guy, the guy is unmatched. All right, let's head underwater for a big old handful. And let's see what these fish do. Holy cow, you guys, they demolished that handful. Now look at the size of this shiner. It is the biggest one that we have. And I have a very hungry catfish right here who's actually platinum. And I think he's gonna absolutely love this. Oh, maybe Jeremy, who's gonna get it? Let's see. Oh, Jeremy, you big boy. Oh my God, no, it wasn't even gone. And now it is. Well, now it is. Okay, Jeremy, I'm sorry, buddy. Let me get you one. Jeremy, there you go. Hey, hey, it's right there. Boom. See ya. Let's see. Oh my God, I didn't even see the tarpon right there. We can burn, burn through these things. It's crazy. Oh, all right, I wanna see one like, okay, never mind. That was even faster. All right, we're gonna toss the rest of them inside there. You guys are gonna see it underwater. Then we're gonna head in and we're gonna feed the panther grouper and saddleback because we're still on the mission of getting those guys big. So let's get underwater and then I'll see you guys in the tank room. Plus I need some AC really dang bad. Groupers, where the heck are we? Oh, there they are. Both of them underneath this rock right here. As you guys know, when I did get these, I set up this one right here thinking they would want to be separated because groupers can be very territorial. But as you guys can see, they seem to be best friends. There's the saddleback head right there and the panther grouper you guys just saw a second before. Oh, there he is. They're starting to realize that when I walk up to the tank, it is time to eat. Take a little chunk of this shrimp. Watch how hard this current is going to push this. Watch this. Look at this flow. Watch though, just keep an eye on it. You guys will see this panther grouper, once it sees it, no way it's gonna land right on the top of the rock. Are you kidding me? Really, really, are you serious? He definitely knows it's in here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He can smell it. You guys think he's grown at all? Look at that fish. Ah, I love panther groupers, it's crazy. I know you can smell it, buddy. So let me go ahead and just get you a new one. That one, it'll probably roll off the rock here shortly. Let's go ahead and get you a big chunk. Watch that chunk, y'all. Watch that chunk, y'all. Watch that chunk, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hey, go back down. Go back down, I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry, but now, you're, now your shrimp's over here. He's freaking out, guys. We still have yet to name this group. Oh my gosh. The saddleback out of nowhere came out of left field and stole the piece of shrimp. He sees it, but he sees it in the reflection because it's literally all over here and watch this saddleback group. Ready? Ready? Uh, I'll take that one too. No, little too big. 
We still have yet to name both of these groupers down below. So if you guys have name suggestions, go ahead and drop them below. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Uh, what? These two groupers are definitely a bit camera shy. We've had them for about 11 days now. Whenever I put the camera way up in their face, they kind of get a little freaked out. But as you guys can see, it's much later in the day. I showered. I'm actually packing right now to head to Ohio to see my girlfriend for the next five days. So... I'm looking forward to that. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. I love you all so much. I will catch you all in that next one. Peace out.